Now let's talk about adding an entry to a names list. There are two ways to add an entry. We can add an entry before we need to work with it, or we can set it up on the fly, called Quick Add. Let's demonstrate the first scenario. Let's come under Lists, and let's come down to the Customer Job List. Here, we can set up a customer before we need to work with it. Let's click on the Customer Job drop-down list and choose New. Here, we can fill in detailed information. John Smith is our new customer. No opening balance. And then we can come down here and fill in name and contact information. We can also come over to the Additional Info tab, Payment Info, and Job Info tabs and fill in this information. Click OK and then John Smith is added here under the Customer Job List. We can now go in and invoice Mr. Smith and do other things with this record. Now let's demonstrate adding a name to a list on the fly called Quick Add. Let's come here under Customers and let's come down to Create Invoices. Let's clear out this customer job field, John Smith. Let's enter a new customer, Alex Henderson. Notice that QuickBooks did not quick fill this field because Mr. Henderson is not set up yet as a customer. When I hit my tab key, this window comes up because Alex is not set up in the customer job list. If we mistype the name, click cancel and then QuickBooks will allow you to retype the name. Here we have two choices. If we want to do a detailed setup where we set up detail information including address and contact information and so forth, we can click on this setup button. Or we can click quick add and QuickBooks moves us to the next field on the invoice template and we can move through and fill out an invoice for Mr. Henderson.